Miss Melanie, and we are going to make the Canvas Mixed Media Project from Spring Break Art Kit number two. So first thing I need you to do is gather your supplies. You're gonna need your jewels, your acrylic paints. There should be a tub of Mod Podge. You're gonna need paint brushes. You're gonna need some rinse water, some paper towels. I would definitely cover your surface. You should also have a bag that has like your buttons and your jewels. It might have some stickers or some paper cutouts. Everyone has a variety. You should have a piece, at least one piece of scrapbook paper. You might want some scissors. All right, so go ahead and get all of your supplies. As soon as you have your supplies gathered, go ahead and get one of the bigger paint brushes or whatever you have and paint your entire canvas just one color. All right, and then we will pick up from there. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is paint your wood shape. So you have a cupcake, um, a couple of them are different, but here you go. So I'm going to paint the top of mine pink and my canvas is pink. So it can't be the same color. So I took white and I am stirring it in with my pink. I don't even care if it's stirred in all the way. And I am going to just very quickly paint the frosting. Now, when I say very quickly, I wanna make sure that I have that line down there first. And then I am just going to get it covered with the pink. You can do your edges if you want to. I was showing on a different video how I did my edges. I'm not gonna do all of them on here. I'm just gonna demonstrate just to keep it off the table so you don't get paint on everything. I pick it up in my hands and then I just do the paint like this. And so if you wanna do your edges, which I think makes it look better because it's more finished. So I've got this all the way done. Now I don't have to dry that right away because I'm also gonna paint the bottom of my cupcake. So now I am rinsing my brush. I'm gonna dry it really well. And this time I'm going to use a purple. I have my purple on a plate um, because I wanna mix white in that too. I, I have limited amounts of white and so I don't want to use all of my white for this because I wanna have some white for other things. So I have them where they're overlapping. I don't need a huge amount of it. So I'm just mixing right here on the edge. So now I have purple. I know you have some stripes on there. You could actually do each stripe a different color. I'm not gonna do that just for time's sake. It would be really cute to do like purple, blue, green, purple, blue, green, or do like a rainbow. But just for time's sake, I am just gonna paint my whole entire thing purple. Now where my purple and pink overlap, it's not a big deal because my purple and my pink are in the same color family. So they are really, really close to each other on the color wheel because red and blue make purple, pink is made from red, and so they are all really good friends or even like cousins. Okay, so once I have that done, I'm gonna put my brush away. I'm gonna set this aside to work on it later. I might set the blow dryer on it just to speed it along. Go ahead and make sure your canvas is dry because we're gonna work on that next. That it might be handy to have um, an old magazine that you could cut up. I just happen to have these squares that are like um, Scrabble squares and so I'm gonna use these. There are just different things in your kit but at some point I'm gonna glue these on. I actually don't have very many of these so I was looking for words to spell and I was able to spell yum, Y-U-M, for my scrapbook paper. That's what I'm gonna work on next. So I'm gonna take my scrapbook paper, I'm gonna get a pair of scissors, and I am just going to start at a corner, and I am just going to curve my scissors like that so that I have a chunk of paper. And so there is my first chunk of paper. Now for the next one, I'm actually gonna do an, a straight line so that I have a straight edge and then curves on the other side. Now I'm ready, I've got my back to a square here. I'm going to, let's see what I wanna do. You can really do anything you want with this. I'm gonna cut this in half at the moment. I don't know if you know how to make a heart, but if you will fold your paper in half, you can draw half of a heart or have a grown up help you. I'm gonna put a heart on mine. I'm gonna make mine smaller than what the paper is. But I just turn my scissors into that shape, snip it off at the end, open it up. Now I have a heart out of my scrapbook paper. I've got this other square. And so I'm gonna do another one of those where I do the curved line. 
And then I've used all of my scrapbook paper. Some of you have more than one sheet. It's fine to use more than one sheet. All right, so I'm gonna set all of these out on my canvas. I can't show you super well. Um, it kind of looks like that. So once I have it out, I actually took my wedding ring off because I don't want this all underneath my ring. It's super hard to get out. However, it's really, really fun to get off your fingers. It's like you have dead skin. So I have my Mod Podge. If you took your lids off and you get confused, the white paint versus the Mod Podge, the Mod Podge has a really strong smell. Some people don't like it. I am very weird, as you all know, and I really like the smell of Mod Podge. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these pieces down. In order to do that, I'm gonna stick a finger, ew, ew, in the Mod Podge. I'm gonna do it right on top of my canvas. I am taking that paper and I am rubbing Mod, po Mod Podge all over the back. I'm gonna lift up the Mod Podge um, piece. It's on the back. I'm going to stick it on an edge. So here it is on that edge. Once I have it stuck on the edge, I'm going to move on to my next piece. But at the end, I'm going to go back and I'm going to rub over the top with the Mod Podge. So with this Mod Podge, it's going to stick everything down so that it won't come up. If you don't go back over it and push really hard, you're going to end up with wrinkles. Okay, I'm going to give you some time to stop. Get this all on there. You don't need to blow dry it. We'll come back to the blow drying when we're done with the rest of this stuff. So for right now, just shut the video down or pause it or whatever you need to do. And then you're going to do all of your scrapbook paper Mod Podging. Okay, you should have your piece Mod Podged with the paper on it. Mine are upside down. There you go. And now we're going to put the cupcake on. So hopefully your wood cupcake has the first two colors. Don't worry about the details just yet. You are actually going to take a little bit of the Mod Podge. And when I say a little bit, just take it, just a little glob in the middle flip it over and put it where you want it on your canvas. So we're actually attaching the wood piece to the canvas, okay? I have to hold it in place if I'm gonna lift it up. So I'm just gonna lift it up and show you how it's on there. Now I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, so for the next part, I'm gonna go ahead and let that begin to dry. While it is drying, I'm gonna grab a paintbrush and I have all of my different colors out. I'm gonna stick my paintbrush. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I actually don't like the end of this one. It's better if it has a bigger end. I'm sticking it in a puddle of blue and I am going to stick my brush in the blue I'm gonna get enough on there so that it makes a really good dot. And I am going to put sprinkles on my donut using the end of a paintbrush. So turn it upside down. You'll notice that you'll start running out of paints and your dots will look funny. And so just make sure that you dip and dot, dip and dot. If your paintbrush is not making a really good dot, it's probably the end of the stick or you need a bigger puddle of it. So if you guys have them in these tubs, you're fine. I'm working from a little tray here. All right, once I get my blue dots on, I'm gonna clean off the bottom of my brush. I'm gonna do some purple dots. I might do some, or, oh, I have orange, looky here. This is actually in the tub. So now when I stick it in, I'm actually getting better dots. And so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to dot and put sprinkles on my cupcake. Once I get all my dots and sprinkles done, I'm gonna find that little jar of jewels and I am going to use either the Mod Podge. At this point, I just am gonna stick one little finger in because I washed my hands. I'm just gonna put some dots. Make sure you guys can see this. I'm kind of holding it up a little bit and I know that it's um, upside down, so let me turn it over. So I am going to take some dots of glue and I'm just gonna put them on with my finger. I have a napkin right here. I did a really good hand washing after I was done with the Mod Podge. And so I don't wanna get my hands super dirty again. Once I'm done with that, I can just wipe it on the little tail. I don't know why I said tail. Um, I can wipe it on my little paper towel that I have right here that you actually cannot see. I just have a little paper towel sitting out here with all my supplies. And then I can start taking the jewels and I can put the jewels on. Now, if I don't lay this flat, my jewels are just gonna slide off. So I'm gonna lay this flat, I'm gonna get all my jewels done, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, I finished with my jewels. 
I also did just a few little black squigglies um, just for highlights to figure out which is my white and which is my Mod Podge. There's my white paint. I'm also gonna use the white paint. I can do like some little accent marks, which I like to do. I didn't add any white as far as um, dots or anything goes, but I can add just, you know, some little accents. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is just add some touches with my brush. I like to get a brush. This is a pretty big one. I'm gonna tap it on the table so that it is not very full of paint. And I am gonna use my brush. You can see I'm just doing a light sweeping motion. I'm gonna get a little more paint, tap it on the table. And I'm just gonna put some white streaks in here just for fun. Once I've done that, I'm actually gonna get a different color. This time I'm gonna use orange. I did not wash my brush. I'm gonna do this same thing. I'm gonna tap it off on the table. I'm gonna go in the other direction, do, 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 and just add some little extra, I just think it makes it look interesting. And so now I have some orange and some white on there. I haven't used any of my green at all. I do have a tub of green. So the next thing I'm gonna do, this one's weird, but I have sponges in the store. If you have a sponge, use a sponge. If you don't have a sponge, you can use your middle finger. So when I have this sponge, I actually have the option to use two ends. This end will make a polka dot. I'm gonna dip it in the green. I just dip it and then I just put a dot. So there's that dot. I'm gonna use blue for the other part. So I have it over here on my tray. I've got blue in my brush. If you've got a brush, the key is to set it, spin it, and lift it. I can usually get two dots out of my sponge brush, but only one from the tip. And so I've got some green dots. Now, I'm gonna pull my little tray over here. Oh, see, my little guy is not dry, so he's moving around. So make sure you keep it flat until he's all the way dry. I've got my middle finger, it's the roundest. I'm dipping it in the purple, and I'm gonna use my finger do, do, and I'm gonna make some dots. So I'm actually, if you notice, I am dipping my finger in the paint and then I'm dotting and I dip and I dot and I dip and I dot. The reason I'm doing that is because you wanna have plenty of paint on your finger. The other thing is you don't want your finger to wiggle. So just going all around like so. So I'm gonna get plenty of dots on here and I will be back and we're gonna do the final finishing touch when I'm back. finishing touches on. I have everything on here. I have my dots and I have uh, put the blow dryer on it. The blow dryer at this point is super important. Somewhere in your kit, you should have some glitter. It might be in a tub. Um, if you don't have any, oh, I'm sorry. You can send your mommy back to get you some or your daddy or your grandma or grandpa. I'm just gonna put my glitter on. This is why it's important to have it dry. I can use a paintbrush, so I've cleaned and dried this one. I'm just gonna put, it's actually just glitter glue. That's all it is. It just gives it a little bit of sparkle. The Mod Podge makes it shiny, but the glitter puts the sparkle on it. And so I'm just going over everything as you can see. So big brush, kind of super fast. Do, 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 get that on there. All right, I really like shiny things. I have an issue with shiny things because I will be in the middle of something and then something shiny will catch my eyes and I will get distracted. All right, so last thing are all those little extras that you had. So you should have some buttons. Here's some of my buttons. You should have more jewels possibly. You might have cut out some words from a magazine. Now, let me say something on the magazine. If you cut the words out from a magazine, you wanna Mod Podge those. Anything else like my word, yum, I'm gonna use, I have tacky glue here. You may not have tacky glue at home. It's not a big deal, use Elmer's glue. You can also use any other Mod Podge that you have. I literally just went and unclogged this glue and it is clogged again. So I've gotta unclog it. Why don't you guys gather up? Ah, I dropped my lid, I'll be back. All right, so if you, while I unclog this, wanna gather up and kind of figure out where you wanna put things, it's nice to have a vision for where things go before you get started. So vision is the same as making a plan. Some of you have some little cardboard things like this. Mine happens to say dance, create, dream. It's just a random one. I have a whole box of random stuff. You might have random stuff like this at home. And if you do, now's a good time to kind of dig in like an old scrapbook box or something like that. So I'm just gonna glue 
that right there. So I've got my nice little cardboard sticker cut out. I've got extra jewels. I am going to, I'm gonna get some glue. I'm actually gonna pour some glue onto my tablecloth because the lid is clogged. Made a little tooty noise, that was funny. All right, here we go. So I have my yum, I'm using my finger. This is why my hands are always dirty and now it is why they are actually raw because I have been washing hands so much to make sure I don't have germs on top of the fact that I am always a mess. That's part of being an artist though. All right, so I put my yum. Oh, look, isn't that cute? You might've noticed too, I added some things to my cupcake while I had the video off and was blow drying. So I put my yum there. I'm gonna add some, um, I have like flower buttons and I have jewels. And so now I'm just gonna finish it off. I'm gonna have all kinds of different fun things that were put in your kit, or like I said, things that you find around the house, you know, in your bedroom, in your, oh, you know what would be really cute? If you have a cute melt bead maybe somewhere that you made, you could actually glue a melt bead on here. So anyway, that's the end of this project. I hope you had fun. I would love to see a picture of your finished project and I'll post my finished project on my webpage. So bye guys.